Hey, welcome back to Steve Horvath Fishing. Today we're going to talk about poppers or pop bars to be more specific. Now, there's not just a rebel pop bar, there's several sizes. We got this little teeny guy that you can only throw on a spinning rod, okay? Great for fishing ponds and streams, but it's got its place on big lakes. This is fantastic if there's a little tiny herring around, little tiny shad, or fry garters. Need to throw it on a spinning rod, probably on eight pound line, okay? Great little popper. Then you got the pretty much standard pop bar. One of the things I like about these baits is not really expensive, okay? I don't know what P number it is. It's P50, P60, something like that, okay? Um, the lip has not been shaved. It's pretty standard. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Then we have the Super Pop R. Longer, skinnier. At one time, it was the Excalibur Pop R. Now, this Pop R is different because it will walk. And the thing is, it's bigger. You can throw it a little further. It's a little bit better in rougher conditions. I mean, no popper is good in really rough water, but when you have more than a little bit, bit of a ripple, it's still a good pop bar, okay? If you want this to, if you want a bait to walk and pop at the same time, this is the pop bar for you. Last but not least, we have, I think this is the P70. They just like reintroduce this thing. Um, it's a great pop bar, but this is a very specific pop bar, and this is the one I want to talk to you about the most, because now when fish are just getting off of beds, they're guarding fry, or you're fishing objects, like you're casting next to a stump or a lay down, and you don't want the bait to go far, this is the bait for you. Okay, this pop bar has a big concave mouth, which means it's going to give a good pop. But what it's not going to do is it's not going to move a long distance as it pops, which means you can throw it out, pop it several times, let it sit, pop it again, let it sit, and in all that time you won't be covering a lot of water. Now, here's the case for the other ones. You want to cover water? Great bait for covering water. Okay, super pop R. I'm going to throw this on 12 to 15 pound mono. I'm going to throw this bigger pop R exclusively on 15 pound mono. If I don't have a lot of wind, I can still throw this fair on 15 pound mono, but I'll probably go to 12. If for some reason, I needed to cast further. I would go to a spinning rod. I would put 20 pound braid on it, about a foot long leader of 12 to 15 pound mono. Go with that. With the little guy, uh, we're pretty much stuck with either braid or eight pound mono. And most of the time I'll probably throw it on eight pound mono instead of braid because I'm probably not going to throw it in the super heavy cover. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve, that's me. Hey, I'm Steve, that's it. Hey, I'm Steve, and we just covered Pop Wars.